Oh, I forgot to mention, today's show, we just have to eat all of this. Oh, I'm allergic. Just kidding. Jokes. Hello, uh, everyone. I'm in our halloween -y decked out studio. It's not really a kill zone, Wilson. Don't. Don't worry. I'm, I feel reassured. Great. Okay, I'm sitting next to this hunkster, Wilson Bethel. Oh. I feel fine. Um, you recognize him from CW's Heart of Dixie and just like your dreams. Um, hi, Wilson. Hey. Thanks for being here. <laughs> well, it's great to see Did you. Did I say all that in front of you? Uh, maybe. We are discussing all things Wilson today, including his exciting new project, Stupid Hype. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll take your questions all show, so get them in the chat. Let's start with Heart of Dixie. Let's start. Uh, I just started the second season. You started the second season? You're watching Heart of Dixie? Yeah. Really? And so did I, so did it start, yeah. Oh, oh, you just like, yeah, but okay. But also, right. uh, but me too, I mean, along with everyone right. else. Right, so like, okay, what are your, if favorite, it makes mo you what are your favorite moments? Of the... uh, when you're shirtless and doing oh, the, and yeah, well, that's, painting that's... Uh, Rachel Wilson's wall, <laughs> and she's like, what are you doing You here? actually watch Heart of Dixie, or else you Google my name. <laughs> It's the only thing that comes up is pictures of me shirtless. So, oh no! Well, yeah. that just happened in episode three of Amazing Happening. Look at that! Right, look at that girl. Bam! Today, doing well so far. Okay. Okay. You play Wade, and you have a really tumultuous relationship with Rachel Bilson, Naturally. who plays Zoe. Very yeah. a doctor. Yes. Um, very a doctor. <laughs> you have. You guys seem to have a really fun time together. We have a very fun time together. Yeah. Um, so we all want to believe. So you have to. Anyway, even right. if you don't. Well. Just. It tells who to want to hear. We have a great time together. We have a really <clears throat> good time together. Good. Good great answers. Do together. you have any juicy gossip from the set? Um, somebody in the central cast has an STD. <gasps> I won't say who. That's that is juicy gossip. Yeah, and it's and Seems ju kind of vague, juicy but... is the right word oh, for it. Let's put it that no. way. I'm not going to tell you which one, but juicy is the right word. Wow, that's. Yeah. That's, That's better than I could have ever hoped yeah, that you yeah. would tell me. Um, yeah. Do you have any insight? Can you give us some no spoilers, but like what, what might happen to your character this season? Uh, you know, they kind of tend to keep us in the dark a little bit, but it seems like I'm gonna. I, I'll put. I'll go out on a limb and mm -hmm. say I'm gonna continue taking my clothes off. <laughs> um, I mean, only if you, so got, if you got them around, uh, then uh, it, you know, we have a tweet. Whoa. In Whoa, that was a, that was a crazy tweet. That was that was a bizarre tweet. That was really exciting. I wish that they happened. From Nam, Mom to TV, I would love to know if Wilson Bethel has any plans for another thing like Call Me Doctor or Head of Doc Dixie. <clears throat> uh, I do, as a matter of fact, have plans for a thing like Call Me Doctor. What's interesting is that the CW has elected not to put any advertising dollars into our show, and so all of the advertising comes from me. <laughs> for our show, okay, um, and so we're doing a new. We are planning right now a new video. Do I, do I spoil alert it? Do I spoil alert it? It's up to you. I mean, do you, I, is this, this is part of your big marketing plan. It sounds like you're in okay, charge of the marketing plan. Spoiler alert is so. that I think it's going to be about threesomes. This so, is so exciting and juicy, this that's, show is. That's really, that's the, that's the only thing I know, because it's really just kind of a kernel of an idea right now. Okay. But, um, but and I, a kernel I think, will pop, pop, yeah. pop into some popcorn. <laughs> That's how, that's how my sexy talk goes. Yeah, well. Okay, so you're fabulous on that show, but I really, really want to talk about Stupid Hype, okay. um, the new digital series you created. Am I supposed, where am I supposed to be? Am I supposed to be looking at you, or where am I supposed to you're be supposed looking? supposed to be looking at me okay. the whole time. Okay. Consistently. Okay. That's, that's it. <laughs> that's it. And also in there. Oh, okay. Other people. Oh, sure. Hi, people. Okay, so. Right. <laughs> but oh. also still at me, too. I was wondering, because I keep catching glimpses of myself, and it looks like I'm only looking down, so. Oh, yeah, no, don't look at... Look it's weird, like, it almost looks like I'm just looking at, at your chest or something. It's That's, weird. I mean, if you can't help yourself. <laughs> oh, okay, so uh, the Stupid okay. Hype is I'm new digital no, series. No, I'm don't. Uh, um, okay. Okay, the new, let's talk about Stupid Hype. Sure, let's do that. The series you created with a new CW digital studio. You're mm -hmm. the first project. It's really exciting. It is. Um, and you write, you produce, and you star in it. Can you tell us what the series is going to be about? Yeah, um, it's going to be about... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now you're like, where can I look? Fine. I'm really, I'm like generally confused right now, just yeah. like as a rule. Um, <laughs> here's the, this, the, <laughs> it's going really well. Uh, the series is about a, it's set in 1990, mm -hmm. and it's about uh, this best break, year. the best year ever. Uh, it's about a break dancer who is like kind of the man on the break, underground break dancing scene, a hero revered by his peers, and he breaks his leg in the first episode, and then, I know, super tragic and has to reinvent himself as a rapper. Um, and so it's about him coming up on the brutal dog-eat-dog -dog world of the underground rap MC poetry battle scene. 
so exciting. I love that scene. And I, I want, you I remember it, right? Look I mean, the like, scene of, yeah, yeah well, the, I mean, you were there, dance, right? Yeah, you, and it's like, because it I remember you from that scene. Right, I and stayed was, with breakdancing, yeah, so luckily yeah. I didn't get any injuries then. Yeah, well, I mean, that was, you know, I sustained that, you remember that injury I sustained. Yeah, I do, so, I do. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it was, um, it was a good time. We want to show them, let's, let's, let's show them. Let's do with it. With pictures and images and colors, a trailer from Stupid Hype. Let's look. Anything to get me out of what I'm doing right here, right now, really, anything. Um, let's give them a look. The, this is the trailer for Stupid Hype. This is it. In 1990, in the doggy dog world of underground breakdancing. Yo, the master break of B-Boy battle? It's us. One man stands above the rest. Yo, yo, yo! Yo, yo, yo! yo. A legend in his time. It's hype, yo, dopest breakdancer around. A hero in the flesh. I got a brand new move gonna make me the best B-boy in history. Is it true? The high people determined to fly rock a headstand? Yeah, boy! But everything in his world is about to change forever. B-boy was everything to me. Now look at me. Look like yo, b-boying days is on hold, young player. Without hype, we're gonna get ourselves killed out there. This fall, join one man's journey on the path to self-rediscoverment. Big booty queen, like a Scooby-Doo scene. Won't you teach me that, that death flow? All you need is a pen and pad. I'm gonna write it. The Grand Master's expecting you. I know why you have come. From broken b-boy to hip-hop legend. But not without a fight. There are five elements of hip-hop. Y'all ready for the greatest battle ever? Say yay! Unite these elements and you will become stupid hype. <laughs> Flip the tape and listen. That so good. Happened. So dramatic. So good. So dramatic. You, your hair is amazing. You, when you weren't on set, did you just walk around feeling awesome? Uh, yeah, in a way. In a, I mean, in a way. Uh, yeah. You know, there's a. It's a funny thing about a hairdo like that when it's not blow dried and hairsprayed into oblivion, it looks, uh, how shall you say, retarded. <laughs> <laughs> you like the uh, other class people in the 1990s, because I had kids, in, like I can picture in my high school yearbook that look with the shaved, with the, if it not, with a not blow dried, from the floppy, Wisconsin. Really? They're doing no, they're it. Doing, doing it there. big. They doing don't, it. They don't, the blow, there's no time for blow drying. You no. gotta put your hat on. Sure, why not? Uh, yeah, the, the hairdo was like a big kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and it ended up getting me in a lot of trouble, actually, uh, when I had to go back to shooting Heart of Dixie. Oh, really? Why? Com I, don't, I don't comment. No, don't worry about oh. that. <laughs> okay. Tell me about uh, what happened. Um, um, so you... So, I, yeah, I mean, basically, I, I, was under, I, was, I, was, I was under the very misguided impression that um, three weeks would be enough time for a haircut that went down to the, my scalp uh, How to do grow know back. How do you do it? To, like, a normal length. Yeah, right, exactly. How do you know until you've done it? Yeah. Uh, so and you I you had like the... The zigzags and mm -hmm. the whole thing. And uh, I returned <laughs> to uh, start shooting Heart of Dixie and uh, was promptly disabused of any notion that I would have a job. Uh, <laughs> unless, unless I figured out some way to rectify the situation. So, what, a toupee in the back? Uh, yeah, well, it actually ended... They made... I got a custom wig from actually... Really? The guy who makes wigs for certain celebrities you wouldn't think <gasps> wear wigs. So Juicy gossip. Guys, let's just put it this way. Not all hair is real hair on that movie screen. Here. You're going to give us a juicy name. I <clears> will <throat> leave him, you know, to there. Mitt Romney. It's out. You heard it here first. <laughs> what, do you think that hair is real? Come on, it's fucking <laughs> it's beautiful. Really pretty good hair. Uh, so, that, so, you, so you wore a wig? I wore a wig for the, for the first two episodes of Heart of Dixie. So when you were out there wondering why I look like a dog that is in desperate need of a bath, but you really, it really doesn't look that way. So that's a very, that's a well, very good Well, the good news wig. is that for most of those episodes, I didn't have a shirt on. So probably the yeah. chances are no. Oh, that's no, probably right. No one's right. part of Dixie yeah. fans. You that, have hair? Yeah. I know, really. Exactly. Um, I so, have a face. <laughs> I speak. No, we see yeah. your face. OK, well. Um, do you, so you wrote, did you, wrote, you wrote all those episodes. How many episodes did you write? It's nine. nine. It's basically, well, <clears throat> just to kind of give it a little bit of a framework. It's mm -hmm. basically, uh, it's a 70 minute movie that is divided up into episodes. So. My hope is that you all will watch 
um, the entire thing because it's meant to be watched basically as a, as a film. Um, awesome. That's but a each good idea. but each episode is like a seven-ish minute episode. Cool. Um, and then leads right into the next, I guess. And so it you're leads right into the next. That's really cool. How did it feel? Well, you, you must have worked so hard on this producer. He produced, wrote, and starred on this thing. How like how did that feel to have so many hats on and? Uh, you just like crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's, stupid type. So, I mean, it was pretty that. Yeah. And uh, so for the C S H, we call it. Crazy, stupid, hyped. Got you. Uh, <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot of work, and uh, that's why I'm drinking whiskey out of a uh, coffee. <clears throat> What's this? A co coffee, coffee. Oh, that's now. the word. Yeah. I, was, uh, I wasn't sure. I thought maybe you had a different word My life word actually um, has, has pretty much devolved into this. No, it's, no, it's because it's you are celebrating this. something exciting that you right. deserve congratulations well, and you. a rest from. That's it, that's it. I need a rest. Really I've been working really hard, and, and it's finally done. This morning, and I flew you, like, in this morning on a red eye. you got to balance out. So. Um, we have a comment from YouTube. From Huckseed4242, I wonder if it was a dream come true for Wilson to work with Flava Flav. Totally. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, what was that like? I grew up listening to Public Enemy, and um, and that was like a huge, I mean, hip hop in general has been the kind of music that I've probably listened to the most in my life. Um, from until a very you've done young some age. research. Yes, ma'am. And that it's in yes, you. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you, you feel that? Do you yeah. feel that? Oh, yeah, that's me reciting uh, Ghetto I Boys lyrics really, in my really heart right now. It's gonna feel it. <laughs> Oh, I feel Hello. Like that. Okay. Um, um, I just take liberties. I'm the host. That I get to do that. Yeah. Uh, can you break dance? No, also, not even a little bit. Really? Well, I can warm. So can I. Uh oh. Uh oh. That happened. Did you? Did I, you just? Did, uh, did you? Just, did you warm? Did you? Just, does you that assess just, the floor if we should warm it? Well, is know. that what you're thinking? I don't know how wide how wide angle can does we this get camera that? go. Let's not. Let's let's move on. Okay. okay. We'll do it. Uh, we'll leave it at the very end, so we can just destroy this table <clears> and stuff. Uh, but we know we'll it was a do dream it. to work with Flavor Flav. And answer yeah. your question, it was amazing. And he's like the sweetest guy in the world. I know he's like in a, a little bit of trouble he's right really now. He's really sweet. But he's super, like kind of the nicest, sweetest guy you could ever possibly imagine. Fun. That's so exciting to have that person come on the set. Did you contact him then as the producer and were like, this is... Yeah, yeah, weird. and and it, he was like remarkably open to the whole thing. We asked, I it was between him and Vanilla Ice, um, we got a hold of uh, Vanilla Ice's people too, but Vanilla Ice demands a lot of money for such oh, really? appearances. And uh, Flavor Flav, not as so much. Yeah, and we don't need Vanilla Ice when we have you looking like so that's, close to him. Yeah, well, that's that, it worked out so, for the best. So, yeah, yeah, that's very cool. Who needs it? Here's a comment from YouTube from uh, D James two two sixteen. Hi Beth, what inspired motivated Bethel to do the new web series? Yeah. Uh, so what have you? The '90s obviously. Yeah. Was very it was impressionable on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I, to be honest, like really uh, getting into like YouTube videos, music, watching a lot of music videos. Once I started kind of going into that world, it just was like this ultimate epic rabbit hole. And then, then. Mm -hmm. Fucking epic soundtrack music. Okay. I watched Cool as Ice. Have you ever seen Cool as Ice? No. Do you know what Cool as Ice is? Uh, no. Cool as Ice, Ice, for those of you who don't know, yeah, it was the would be star uh, movie vehicle for Vanilla Ice in 1991 after he had already had Ice Ice Baby and his career was kind of on the decline. Somebody uh, had the idea that he should do a contemporary reimagining of Rebel Without a Cause with him as the head of a motorcycle gang. And it's pretty much the most psychedelic and awesome movie you've ever right now. seen. It's an incredible film. It is the weirdest movie you'll ever lay, lay eyes so on. So you saw that, and then you're like, ah, this, this is what be needs to happen. And so then, now yeah, somehow. exactly. Then, and then it was like this idea of somehow doing like a version of Zoolander that um, it was like Zoolander meets Eight Mile meets Cool as Ice. That's very apt. I mean, from what I can tell from the trailer, <laughs> yeah. and also just so exciting sounding. No wonder they, yeah. they bought that I idea. I mean, come on. So, um, let's show them a little bit. You made a music video for this, or more than one music video. We had, yeah. There's actually a total of five music videos for the for the whole show. And they're so good and really funny. Um, let's show them a bit of one of them. Absolutely, by all Play means. Play it, guys. This is the beat, that is the groove Make you jump out your seat, make your body wanna move The bass in the system, make you move around And if you can't feel the rhythm, better sit back down And if you sit back down, don't get up again, man I'm on the dance floor, making new friends First friend I make might be your lady Didn't catch her name, so I'll call her baby When I call her baby, she giggled and laughed She acting crazy, she jiggling Time to get wiggling, get on your feet And if you listen, it's a simple thing, just follow the beat You can have yours and I'll get mine Cause there's enough to go around a couple of times Wow, those are some moves 
They didn't show the one, we were talking about the, this one that oh, later on yeah. happens in the video. I, that's I don't my have that down That's my yet. new signature move. It's very impressive. Thank you. Thank you, you made that one up. I did. All right, well, I don't know. Maybe somebody had done it before me, but that's it I lived made it somewhere it, inside. It, it lived. It, it had it to come out. Inside me. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's the that's the let's get hype move. Have you always been a good rapper? Did you take lessons with uh, a local choral director? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I did. Enunciating on tone. Totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I no. I was. I, I've always been a good rapper. I rapped from as I mean as early as I can remember. My first word was a rap. I, wow. Yeah, it was. How's that? So it's just one word. And they're like, one, if he had more than yeah, one word, it would this rhyme. Would have been a great it would rhyme. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think my first yeah. word was a rap too. Yeah. No, but no, then, I, then I, then I, then I, was, not. I was good. You're not, then, like, then you're it not ended. quite. I mean, I'm I rap. The farthest you know, thing yeah, from good at so, rapping. So, uh, Possible. <laughs> Here's a comment from YouTube. Oh. Um, from Pawnee Goddess, favorite rap song so good of all time. Yeah. Uh, that's super hard. God, I. What's coming to mind right now? Uh, my mind is playing tricks my, on me. Mm, Ghetto Boys. I love the Ghetto Boys. Um, uh, Bonita Applebond, Tribe Called Quest. Uh -huh. um, I will say, um, I don't know. Maybe. I like the only ones I like are the ones I know all the words to, which is like one, which is California Love. Cal oh, because I know all the words. OK, I can appreciate it. Yeah. I'm definitely got a lot of love for Tupac. Yep. Um, I don't know. I I love. I it's mean, one of those things. That there's like probably so many. There's so many. It's, it's like, really difficult. I can't but even think uh, of... I appreciate the the question. It's 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 hard. I am a You're big fan. You're gonna go home and be like, what is my I know. favorite rap? If I, would you like me more if I said Chingy? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, Chingy. Yeah. I don't even remember oh, the name of Chingy's song, but Chingy. Ching, is it Chingy or Chingy? You're Ch alone on this Ch one. Kenji. Uh, kimchi. <laughs> the rapper Kimchi. <laughs> yeah, do you remember him? He had a great hit and. <laughs> How are we doing on time? Comment? We do have a comment. Me too. Sir Nal said, what are you dressing up for Halloween as? I just changed I'm, his I'm actually, propositions around. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, I, I, I'm, Are you into Halloween? I am. I'm super into Halloween and I got lazy, so I'm actually just dressing as stupid hype. I was kind of, it was like kind of dumb, not, but I have all the costumes now. But yeah. I, can I say what I was last year, which yes, I'm more please. proud of? I was yes. Max Headroom. Wow. Do you remember Max Headroom? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I think I, yeah. Do you guys know Matt Max Headroom? Just tell the, them in case they want to He was the, um, I can't even remember if it was Pepsi or Coke. I think it was Pepsi. But he was like the short-lived, like super futuristic digital face of Pepsi yeah. Coke. I think there were Max Headrooms at the Halloween last night. Were there really? Maybe. My costume was better than this, I guarantee. I built a full TV set out of cardboard on my head and had lasers going on the background. That is that pretty impressive. Sick. I don't think you need to consider yourself lazy for doing super hype this year because you just... Like, oh, just little, did all that. So you yeah. earned it. Like, when you produce yeah. your own and create and star in your own web so series, a little shamelessly self promotional, is what it is. Do it. Like, but hey, fucking, let's get after it. Bam. Let's That's a high five. Here's a comment from you, too. From uh, Elisa Sung. Can you say, oui. I'm sorry, I butchered your last oui. name. Wait. Oui. Wait. Mm. Can you oui. speak French? She's already answering it. Wait. Oui. Wait. Oui. Ça va. Très bien. Wait. Oui. Allons-y. Don't stop. Wait. Oui. Ça va. Mm -hmm. Oui. Ça va bien. Wait. Buenos dias. Wait. Uh, muy bien, you too. Hello. Oui. Mm. Oh, no. Uh, yep, no, I know. Uh, uh, Beef bourgogne? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. yeah. yeah, all that stuff. Yep. <clears throat> Marcel? Mm. It's a name. Mar yeah, <laughs> Marcel. The shoes on. Okay, um, before we go, I really want to, uh, I have this little game that I want to play. It's called, um, it's a complicated title. It's called Beth's Lightning Question Round. Kind of explains itself. It's a really clever title if I do say so myself. I'm pretty nervous about um, this. Don't be. I've got it's no pressure. Um, if you if you don't answer, it's a it's a lightning round. I have got ten questions. After you answer, you ring the bell. So I know that your answer is done. Okay. <laughs> Example: they, they favorite color, answers? red. No. Okay. I mean, the so, thing is, it's up to you. They're your answers. So okay. If you take longer than three seconds, again, no pressure, but the building. But what's burns the point down. of me ringing the bell if? The que if I only have three seconds, I mean, shouldn't you be ringing the bell if We're I run gonna over? We're not going to be strict on the three questions. Just know that All right. everything I'm just will gonna fall go, apart. I'm just going to go with it. Yep. Just go with it. I'm working on it. OK. Ready? Are we all right? Are you ready? Question number, let's start. Question number one. What is your favorite holiday movie? Christmas Vacation. Good answer. Number two, if you could have any job at a mall, which one would you choose? Churros. Number three, what is a muscle that you have a hard time toning? Penis. The, you we said it. Number four, have you ever had your heart broken? Obviously. Uh, number five, what is your favorite breed of dog? A Boston Terrier, it's my own. And what did you name it? Part two. Tucker. Good. Number six, what would you eat for your last meal? Anything you want. Oh, uh, yam fries.
fries with extra syrup. Mm, good one. Uh, tropical or European vacation? <laughs> that was actually just an outcast line. Uh, <laughs> I got really uh, excited. Yeah, I, that was like me trying to establish hip hop cred. Do I, did I lose my three seconds? No, What's the no, last question? Uh, no, it's not last. Number seven. Oh. Tropical or European vacation? <laughs> tropical or European vacation? Oh, tropical. <laughs> tropical. Um, biggest regret? Easy question. Oh, yeah, easy question. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Mom. Oh. Okay, <laughs> night owl or morning person? Morning person. All right, and finally, favorite cereal? Oh, is this even a question? Life! Oh, you broke the bell. <laughs> you deserved it. That yeah. was such a definitive favorite cereal. I'm so proud of you for having that because I love cereal and it's really important to me that people know What's what your favorite, favorite cereal, cereal is. Uh, I like a mix, which isn't the right answer, but it's oh, really the it's way that so it has to be. Oh, it's so true, though. The mix is the way to go. I actually kind of lied because I do love life, but it's only life the with cinnamon? a few other things. Oh, so. yeah. No, but it's with some other things. Yeah, the look you gave me when I said cinnamon was like... Oh, it was hateful. Really? Yeah. That was intense. Okay, I feel like we're really warmed up. I feel like we could... Do you want to do another 20 minutes? That's our show. Oh, uh, but we're gonna We're going to warm this out at the end of it. First, let's just finish this up in the middle of the table. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. You're not done yet. Um, I can't wait to see Stupid Hype. It premieres on November 13th with three episodes. Three episodes on November 13th, and on then the rest CWTV. coming out after that. CWTV.com. That's it. And Wilson, thank you. Where can people find out more about you, uh, like the best place where you're going to put out more episodes? Uh, and... Either my home address or um, at Wilson Bethel on Twitter. Cool. Uh, so make sure you guys subscribe to this show. We've got a lot going on next week, including a Halloween show in costume, of course. I'll see you on Monday for more chatting. Um, have a great weekend. We're not done yet, though. We're going to worm. What are we we're doing gonna worm. Are we really? This yeah. is actually happening now. This is happening. I think. Wait, I thought this was. I thought that was a. That was a thing. That wasn't a thing. Were you? Were you bluffing? Because I, I mean, wasn't. I was kind of bluffing. Oh, well, um, I wasn't. I'm ready. But I have a, I have a microphone on. And, dude, you don't start down on the I worm. I start down. What are you doing? Downward, upward dog. Sure. This is this is fucking some New York shit right here. This well, is... I just can't start up. You start up. Go ahead. All right. This is a worm. I mean, this is not. This is not like an appropriate worm here. I don't think. But I think it's like. I think it is. Oh wow. Wow, what is that? Is you know, intense. You know. is, well, mine is. Oh, no, yours is sick. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Dude. That's our show. See you later. That was amazing.